Hi, welcome back to Uncouching, and I'm going to make a chicken pasta dish. Um, this is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. It's got about seven ingredients, I think, not including salt and pepper. So um, last night, my husband grilled up a big old family-sized package of chicken breast that he marinated and put on the grill. So I've got two chicken breasts here tonight. There's five in our family. Um, half a package of rigatoni pasta. You can use whatever kind you want. <clears throat> Artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes. Um, these are marinated mushrooms, but you could use fresh mushrooms. Alfredo sauce, and a little bit of canola oil. Okay, I have my water boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and add my dry pasta. And then the frying pan is hot. I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons or so of, I think I'm using canola oil here. You can use whatever kind of oil you want. So it's nice and hot there. So now I have about a half a cup of chopped marinated artichokes. I'm gonna add those right into the pan. And then I have about a half a cup of chopped marinated mushrooms. And then about a half a cup of chopped uh, marinated sun-dried tomatoes. Those are marinated in um, oil. We'll give it a little extra flavor and a little extra oil in there um, to create the sauce. So I'll stir that around a little bit. Make sure it's nice and combined. And then I have those two uh, cooked chicken breasts that I have chopped that I'm gonna add into the skillet. You can also use rotisserie chicken. That'd be a good choice. Or a couple of leftover pork chops. Um, you could actually do a couple of leftover steaks or roast as long as they're cooked. And then I'll stir that all together. Make sure it's nice and combined. Make sure that you have enough um, moisture in there. You don't want your ingredients to uh, stick to the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and salt my pasta water and salt my sauce ingredients and then pepper my sauce ingredients. Now if you're that's my daughter's fingers. If you uh, get to, st if you're stirring around the ingredients there and it looks a little bit dry, um, you can always ladle in a little of the pasta water um, if you feel like you need to. So I have about maybe a quarter cup of jarred Alfredo sauce, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of hot water just from the, um, from the uh, pasta water right into the jar so that I can get um, all the sauce that's kind of stuck to the jar. So it's not adding a whole lot of Alfredo sauce, it's just enough to give it a little bit of, um, a little bit of flavor but by adding the pasta water in there, it'll help thicken it up. And you'll still get the flavor of the Alfredo sauce without it being super fattening. Um, typically, Alfredo sauce is pretty high in fat and calories. And it's delicious, but it's, uh, I think it's better used sparingly. And then my pasta um, water, I'm going to keep some of my pasta water out in the cup there in case uh, when I go to mix my pasta together that it needs a little bit more moisture. So I've drained my pasta, it's actually in the sink in the colander. So my pot that my pasta was cooked in is actually empty. So I'm gonna transfer my sauce um, into the pasta pot, but there's no pasta in there yet. I went ahead and drained that in the sink. So now I'm gonna grab my pasta from the sink and transfer it all to the same pot. So I'll go ahead and 
slowly combine that. You want to be real careful. And then I'll add a couple ladles of my pasta water. That's really kind of what creates the sauce and allows it to uh, sort of spread a little bit more. Um, it, it allows you to, to kind of cling to the pasta a little bit better as you're combining it. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a little taste here. It's actually super hot. <laughs> so, but it's really good. Really good. Uh, super hot, but really good. So you can add Parmesan cheese to it and it's ready to serve. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.